Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steve here and we are going over Turo rental car fleets, how to make it run as smoothly as possible. If you guys are new to the rental car fleets and Turo and all that stuff, get around, hire a car, all those, and you're not quite sure what it is, it's basically Airbnb but for your vehicles. And that's what I go over. I mainly deal with Turo and how to make it run as smoothly as possible for you. So today, we're going to go over, I don't know if you remember, the Silver Fox. Let's see if I can, boom, the Mazda. The Mazda, the Mazda 6. This is the one that I told you, I just had nothing but problems with it. I don't know if it's the car, what it is because it's older. I don't know, I don't get it. It is weird to me, it blows my mind, but people tend to like to smoke in it. And it's not even weed, because if it was weed, whatever. They're always smoking cigarettes in here. So to get that smell out, you guys know how this is. It is almost virtually impossible, unless you've got one of these. So this is the ozone machine. This machine right here, ozone machine. So that ozone machine will actually break it down and uh, I will do my best to explain this and I know that I'm gonna get corrected. Somebody's definitely gonna, somebody's gonna correct me. That's all there is to it. So this machine, you throw it in the car and it gives it oxygen enriched. So instead of being O2, it ends up going to O3, which pulls the molecule and basically oxidizes any of the mold, mildew, just scents, anything that's in there. So like if you're at a campfire, right? You're you're out, you're hanging out with the homies, you're hanging out with everybody, the family, and you have a sweatshirt that gets covered in smoke from the campfire. You throw it over to the corner, you go to bed, do your thing, whatever, you go pick it up in the morning, and you throw it on, you're like, oh, okay, okay, that was, well, well, huh? we, were, we were hanging out at the campfire last night. Like, you know. So what do you do? You go home and you put it in the washer. Or you rinse it out, you leave it out to dry, you uh, Febreze it, which is just gonna, never mind, I won't even say it, Febreze will get mad at me. But you cover it with the scent to basically mask the scent, and that's all it does, is it masks it. It just covers it up for a little bit. Now, when you wash it, you're actually washing these molecules out of your clothing. When you guys are actually airing it out, so you're putting your clothes on a hanger, and you're putting it out in the woods, and just letting it do its thing. Now at this point, it's naturally oxidizing and getting rid of that smell. So you're able to, as quote unquote, air it out. When it comes to being in a car, you got the windows up all the time, there's no way for it to actually ever really air out because it's constantly sealed up. So you jump in it and that's why you always, it's really just super condensed, super just strong. When you first open that door, you're just like, whoa. Oh. Right, like you just straight jumped into the uh, mystery machine, right, from Scooby-Doo. Anyway, what happens is it never really gets a chance to air out. So what you do is this basically helps oxidize it. It pulls everything through one way, adds another O2 to the O2 that it has. So now it turns into O3 and basically a whole lot of scientific stuff. And it talks about, if you look it up online, it talks about lightning breaking it up, this and that. So lightning breaking up those O3s and create an oxygen up in the sky or ultraviolet rays. And I think, I'll have to double check, I don't know, like I said, somebody will probably correct me, but I think this one actually does ultraviolet waves, but it also could do the electrodes inside because it is plugged in, you do plug it into the wall. But basically, clear and simple, what you do, take this bad boy, it's smoky inside this car, you set it inside, so you go in there, make sure there's nothing in it, and roll up all the windows, shut all the doors, and run that thing for probably about an hour, hour and a half, and then make sure you have, when it's all done, you don't jump right in there and take a big old breath. No, you open up those doors, let it air out a little bit. And me personally, I open up all the windows and I got the fans going and I just let it blow through. I let it air out as much as possible. Now this particular machine right here, it is actually meant for commercial residential, commercial use, which would be hotel rooms, houses, all that stuff. It's not able to be shipped to certain states. California, you guys know who you are, but I think just about everywhere else, they trust you guys with this. All it is is basically, they want to make sure that you know not to be in the room while this thing is operating. Now, if it's a bigger room, you can be, but I still wouldn't suggest it because it will start irritating your throat and uh, basically start suffocating you. <laughs> so you don't want to be doing that. Maybe that's why they said it can't go in California. I don't know, but <laughs> we'll let them decide that. But regardless, this thing works really well. It helps get rid of the smells. It'll get rid of any smell whatsoever. Now, when it does come down to, you got those good renters, those ones that really detail the crap out of the car. They wipe everything down and then psh, 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 
They are spraying the crap out of the car because we all know exactly what they did. They were smoking in there, they were trying to get rid of the smell, and oh, I was just, it's just my perfume, I was just making it look, smell good, or it's my cologne, bro, it's just, I was just trying to make it smell good. It came off my clothes, you know? Simple fact is you can easily go in there and say, okay, look, dude, here's the deal. I have 72 hours to get this right, to not have it smell because it didn't smell when you got in it, and now I cannot have it smelling for the next renter. It could trigger allergies for the next renter. It could do whatever it is. So let me, here, so here's the deal. I will air out the car, windows down, for the next 72 hours, well, 70-ish hours. <clears throat> and at, during that time, if the smell does not dissipate, then you will be charged. That's one way to get around that because you know dang well that they were smoking in your car. Sucks when they try and get away with all this stuff. But that's basically how you kind of get around that. But regardless, if you have any smells whatsoever, check the link below. I have the Amazon affiliate link, whatever. Either way, I don't even care if you get it from me or not. This thing will work wonders. Look at that. So there's all the dials, the on-off switch, and yes, there is a plug on the back. But this thing will work wonders for you if you have any kind of smell in your car. Now, whether it be mold, mildew, smoke, anything like that. And this is, like I said, a machine that is actually meant for a house. Something a lot bigger than 10 cubic feet, which I don't even think it's 10 cubic feet. But it's meant for basically a hotel room, a house, all that stuff. So this makes real quick work of the car. That's all there is to it. And it works way better than those scent bombs. So hopefully this helps out. I definitely recommend it for using it for your cars, for all those smoke. Now it does take a little bit longer for the smell of weed, but Regardless, it will work. It'll work very well for you guys. Hope it helps out. Hope all this helped out for you guys. Stick around. I will definitely drop more knowledge for you guys to make this all run as smoothly as possible. Like, subscribe, yada, yada. Take it easy. Go keep grinding. Keep making that money. Later, y'all.